Okay, today we are doing a deep dive into the Emco Beauty foundation range and what is on offer. These all sit in such an affordable price bracket, so I want you to be able to find the one for you. So let me take you through the difference between all seven of them. When it comes to foundations, there are two main things to think about when you're working out what you want. One is coverage, so a light, medium, full. One is finish, so a more glowy, more natural, or more matte. We're gonna go from least coverage to most coverage. Now, we're already acquainted by this point, but Emco Beauty does affordable Lux for Less Beauty products, all vegan, all cruelty free. Been big fans of them for years now. I have so many of their staples in my makeup bag that I use daily. Okay, starting with the least coverage, we have the Emco Beauty Flawless Glow Luminous Skin Filter. This is moisturizing and hydrating, but leaves a very radiant finish. The coverage is lightweight, but it makes the most of the impact of a blurring kind of filter on the skin to give you a really smooth look to the face. This is obviously a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I personally think it's actually a more flattering finish, so I prefer it. And she's a little multitasker too, so you can mix her into your foundation, wear her alone, or use her as a highlighter on top of the foundation. Okay, next up we have the Sheer Tint Super Glow Serum Foundation. This one's very natural, quite undetectable, like a weightless finish to the skin. Its ingredients have glycerin, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin E, so this would be a really nice one if you just want something refreshing on the skin that's also going to do good for your skin over the day. The coverage is sheer, it would work really well as an all over kind of perfecting tint to even out the skin tone and add a little bit of colour. Okay, next is the Miracle Webby Cream. If my memory serves me correctly, this is one of the brand's first products and sitting in 19 New Zealand dollars, it definitely ticks the affordable category. It also claims to perform nine functions in one. <laughs> BB Cream stands for Beauty Balm and what the idea behind it is, is that it kind of does everything in one. So you've got your foundation, your moisturizer, your primer all mixed in on top of lots of other things. You've got your skincare elements. It's kind of the everything product. I own all of these in various shades, but it's a really good shade match for me at the moment. This is kind of your gym bag product, if you ask me. It's the one thing that you can just whip on. You can build it up to add extra coverage, but it does kind of start out with a light coverage to begin with anyway. You're going to get more coverage from the beauty balm than you would have from the sheer tint naturally, but it also means you can build it. So this is still going to have the long wear of a foundation, but it's also going to kind of tick all of those boxes with without having to put multiple layers of product on top. Really obsessed with that kind of match. Okay, we're upping the coverage a little. This is the Miracle Hydro Glow Oil Free Foundation. This is a natural finish. It's got a light to medium, but still buildable coverage. And this one is water-based, so particularly good for your dry skin types or people who need that plumping hydration. Let's give her a wee swatch. I'm running out of room. I've very unintentionally gone from my fairest to my tanner shade. <laughs> Especially now that we're moving into the foundation category, we're definitely seeing the impact of whatever I've put on my skin underneath and whatever I put on my skin over top impacting the finish of the foundation. So I tend to wear a much more hydrated base. I'm always going to get a little bit more glow from my products, even if I was using a matte foundation. This one is one of those ones that you can definitely kind of alter to suit you, which I really like. The concept of it being oil free as well, it's got blurring technology, it's really good for people who struggle with acne because of that water based foundation is always a good one to try. It's also got chamomile extract in it, so if we want to get technical it is actually going to soothe and it has like an anti-inflammatory quality to it. Anti-inflammatory, I feel like I said that wrong, anti-inflammatory. Okay, we're gonna swap sides because if I'm gonna talk about coverage, this side of my face needs a very sheer light coverage. This side of my face, I feel a lot more comfortable with a bit more coverage and I tend to add concealer extra to this area. So let's try the full coverage foundations on this side. Let's start with the banger, Miracle Flawless Skin Foundation, my favorite from the brand personally. This is foundation and skincare in one, which means throughout the day, you're going to get a better wear time. The finish is radiant, but natural, and it's very even coverage. This is also duping a Charlotte Tilbury foundation. And again, I prefer it. I didn't like the Charlotte Tilbury version of this and I really like this one. Okay, I'm going to use the shade Natural Ivory, which might be a bit fair. Oh no, we're good. Okay, we've got a few shades of this, so I'm going to say we can just make this one work. So you can see immediately that you're getting quite a decent coverage out of the product without even applying it properly. I'm just literally dabbing it on with my finger. My favorite way to apply this one is actually with a brush. We'll do it at the end. <laughs> my personal favorite way to apply foundation because my skin tone isn't so even and I don't need a full coverage everywhere is to apply a very light layer of the product all over and then build in areas that I need it. And I find that this foundation works so beautifully for that and building it doesn't make it cakey and heavy. I love this one. I love her a lot. <laughs> okay, this one, the Miracle Hyaluronic Tinted Serum could fit into a number of categories when it comes to finish and coverage because again it's a bit more customizable this could be as sheer as you like it or you can build it right up and again it builds beautifully i love recommending this for people who don't like a heavy finish and feeling to their foundation because it is very liquidy and it's also got hyaluronic acid in it too so it's beautiful for dry skin or skin that needs a little bit more plumpness throughout the day i don't have to excuse the fact that i only have my fake tan shade in this foundation <laughs> 
on a media application this has less coverage than the miracle flawless but like i said it's very easy to build up and because of the hyaluronic acid as well particularly good for a drier skin or in like a cooler climate we love hydration around here i'm sure you're not counting but if you were we're on to our last one this is their most full coverage foundation and a much more matte finish so if you do have a dry skin you can still wear it you just want to prep well with either your hydrating skincare or a primer this is your much more flawless finish kind of airbrush effect it's the ultra stay flawless foundation so again the coverage is full on instant application you can still build it up however you can also kind of like i said meld it to work for you this also has oil and shine control so best for an oily skin i'll do the real test because there's a lot going on back here right now but you can see the coverage is nice and smooth really like the finish of this on the skin i don't like my foundations to be too matte this still has a lot of skincare in it so it's still giving that nice nourished hydrated refreshed look and it's a really good match I'm really <laughs> i've got some goodies <laughs> add a little more so i can show you just on instant how well that covers the little problem areas having one of those weeks okay that's all of them let me just pull up <laughs> they all sit at under 39 dollars full price and let's be real between the different retailers and beauty can always be found on sale now i need to do my makeup for the day anyway so we're gonna go with my face i'm gonna primer into the brush let's go in with a pressing motion to build that coverage in the areas that i need it first and foremost and then slowly disperse that out over the rest of the face and that is the coverage on half my face. I can still see my skin through it, but it's added a little color, a little life, and it's gonna wear really, really well. I'm gonna add some color back into the face. It's like a lot better. <laughs> a little bit of dimension and shape. A little blush that concludes like the cheek duo of dreams. Okay, that is me done and dusted. Let me know which ones you've tried, which ones you've liked, and which ones you're running to get, because there's definitely one for everyone in that lineup.